We're of course building up to the Italian Grand Prix this weekend here at GP Fans. So without any further delay, let's dive into everything as usual that we're expecting to see this coming weekend at the Italian Grand Prix. Up to the Belgian Grand Prix, it was possible to argue that Ferrari could and should be leading both the drivers and constructors championship battles. Although Verstappen's form since the shutdown has pretty much laid this to rest, Ferrari has shot itself in the foot too many times this year through poor reliability and dreadful strategy calls, the latter most recently on their showing in Belgium. The Tifosi lining the Autodromo Nacional Monza has never been shy about letting the Ferrari hierarchy know their feelings on how the team is being run. And should a mistake be made this weekend, there will surely be an uproar. Charles Leclerc must also prove his worth to the team. On a long-term contract, last weekend's Dutch Grand Prix was the first race he has finished ahead of his teammate Carlos Sainz, when both drivers have seen the chequered flag, that is, since Miami back in May. Max Verstappen's lead in the title race is now 109 points and it's looking more and more likely that he will officially seal the deal in Japan. Including the points for the fastest laps and the one sprint in Brazil that remains, 112 is the margin required to end the competition as he leaves Suzuka. And it's impossible to imagine this failing to happen given Red Bull's brilliance in the high speed sections of spa francorchamps should this translate as expected at Monza and neither Sergio Perez nor Charles Leclerc finish, Verstappen could even start to consider wrapping up his second crown in Singapore. You can find the full rundown of how and when Verstappen can take the championship at its earliest point on gpfans.com. Mercedes has only failed to feature on the podium once in the last eight races, but it would come as no shock should they fail to take home some sort of silverware this weekend. Spa highlighted a particular weakness in straight line speed and Monza is a track where this attribute is crucial for success. Team principal Toto Wolff has tried to dampen expectations, but given the desire of both George Russell and Lewis Hamilton to push the team onto a stronger platform for 2023, you can be sure that nothing will be left on the table. Mercedes will be there or thereabouts at the front of the midfield but Red Bull and Ferrari will likely have far too much pace for the Silver Arrows to be able to handle. The end of the European season is often when the last remaining seats are claimed for next year. Danny Ricciardo, Mick Schumacher, Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda are just some of the drivers waiting to learn where or if they will be driving next season. The transfer market has been pretty crazy this year, with Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso kicking it all off prior to the summer shutdown. There is never any guarantee that certain situations will be announced at Monza, but it would come as no surprise if one or two deals were confirmed over this weekend. F1 has needed to unite on a number of occasions to speak out against online abuse of teams and personnel with a video stating the message to drive it out permanently fixed to the top of the sports Twitter page. The aftermath of the Dutch Grand Prix has seen a vocal group of Formula One followers directing abuse at Red Bull's head of strategy, Hannah Schmitz, the Alpha Tauri team and George Russell. This follows on from instances of death threats to Nicholas Latifi and former FIA race director Michael Massey after last year's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. F1 and the FIA have so far been very good with relaying words against those responsible, but it must now prove it can match those words with actions. <laughs> 